Hey everybody, it's Matt with Rocky's War Room again, and tonight I have another video, uh, a test of honor video, of uh, <clears throat> adding additional samurai to your already expanded war bands, um, also with a few additional. Uh, now what I did was, is I bought, a, I bought another samurai war band box, and in that came five more samurai. So I'm going to build the... Blue Side Samurai tonight, the extra samurai that came in the starting start, starter warband box, just to add some samurai, some more options for samurai uh, to the game. Now also this adds to another element, a third samurai, a three verse, th three, verse three game, uh, which is possible. I can't see why you wouldn't be able to play one, um, but <clears throat> uh, in the starting warband box you got this card, the basic samurai hero with a different colored red um, uh, mon or shashimino. Um, and allows you to play three players, which is great because I have more than just one other person that wants to play against me. So if we can all get together at one time, fantastic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a, uh, a regular samurai hero like I did for the, the red and the blue side. And then I'm going to build... The Devoted and Y Samurai for both the Red, the Blue, and the additional Samurai Hero. So, if you want to count that up, we already have the regular basic Samurai Heroes for the Blue and the Red built. They're already done. So, <clears throat> I need one, which is right here, two, three for him. Then, I need my two Loyal Samurai, my, my Devoted Samurai, and my Y Samurai for the Red side. And then here is for the blue side, which leaves me with one extra samurai here. So what we're going to do is we're going to build a samurai with the bow option. Um, it's an upgrade that anyone can take for two points. So uh, <clears throat> on a basic samurai. So this guy right here I have laid out with a bow and arrow. And uh, of course I will get him a quiver as well out of the box. But um, I forgot to grab that when I grabbed the bow, but I stole this bow out of one of the missile troop sprues because I made some uh, arquebusers, uh, arquebusers. Um, I think that's how you say it. <laughs> some arquebus troops, uh, or handgun, or uh, tempo, uh, whatever you want to call them. So I had an extra bow left over. So we're going to go ahead and use it on this samurai right here. That way, we have at least one that's going to be upgradable for a bow, and we can represent that on the table. So, basically what we're doing is, is we're adding samurai to our already expanded forces of the blue and the red, and then we're going to create samurai for the next, um, for a third player. And then, of course, I've got some sprues here. This right here is what's left out of the starting warband. It's enough to do a whole nother warband here. Uh... So there's three players with all their basic options and things like that. And of course, we're going to add some, you know, when we play some Brigades and Bandits, we're going to add some Ronin, you know. And we're also going to add some Pulper Soldiers and J.O.B.'s Troops and Renegades and, uh, uh, De I can't say the word, <laughs> Deamos, De uh, how do you say that? Da Daimyo's retinue. There we go. That got it. <laughs> and some mounted samurai. So uh, we're going to be adding all this to our test of honor stuff. But right now, tonight, it's just going to be the basic samurai, the starting samurai hero, a devoted and a wise samurai uh, with different various weapons. Like one right here, we got a, not a lance, but a spear for this, this samurai here. Uh, we also got another spear here. This one here, I'm giving paired swords. Right here, there's two swords. I'm giving this guy here paired. Uh, he's just going to have a katana, uh, and this guy over here is going to have a katana. And there's one more guy right over here, and he's going to have the paired swords as well. I think. Let's see, what has he got? Oh, I didn't give him a weapon, <laughs> so we'll give him a katana as well. <clears throat> there we go. He has a katana. Um, 
One of them had a paired, a couple of them had paired swords. I know this guy did. Oh, this guy here? No? Oh, these two right here have the paired swords. Uh, that's what they're going to have. Oh, let's see. Because I already know, I know I, I, uh, let me see. I can Anyone who got the paired, there he is. There's one guy here. Anyone who got the paired swords, um, I went ahead and cut off the swords off the sheaths right there to simulate that he's got both his swords out in battle plus his extra little tachi sword and another one of these guys has got paired swords as well i don't know which one it is hmm well i'll figure it out during assembly because he's the only one i see but i had two guys that i was going to kit out with paired swords so i'll find him it might be this guy over here. Yep, I had this guy over here with paired swords. So this spear is not going there. Okay, so it's this guy right over here. So two with paired swords, two with katana, three with katana, I'm sorry. Uh, one, uh, two with spears, and one with a bow. And this should kind of fill out... If you want to add, add some extra samurai just to the basic war bands. So uh, I will be back in a minute to, uh, to show you guys what they look like when they're put together.
Okay, folks, there you have it. There is the Samurai, how I've expanded with my, my Samurai for three separate war bands. Three war bands all together. Uh, I added Samurai, uh, Samurai Hero, Devoted Samurai, and a Wise Samurai for uh, the third war band that I'm, go I'm going to uh, build up. And I've added the Devoted Samurai and the Wise Samurai to both the blue, which is my uh, Yusinji, and the Hojo, which is the red. Um, and these guys, I haven't sure, uh, not quite sure what clan I'm going to do. Uh, I, I have, uh, Iwagama in mind, uh, but we'll see. We'll see what's going on. Um, but any one of these guys could be, um, I'd say these, these fellas here, this could be a samurai hero. These tall hats, samurai hero. Uh, this could be a wise samurai. And then you could have your devoted samurai be one of the, any any one of these guys. So it all depends on what I, how I want to uh, kit them out or what I want to do with them. Um, I know for a fact that um, <clears throat> the uh, devoted samurai here with the paired swords is what I'm going to have for the hojo. And then I have another paired swords right here, and they're going to be for the you. Uh, oh gosh, I can't pronounce it. <laughs> uh using using or you something something like that it's they're blue and they got a big big red sun pardon me on their mons so uh this is going to be one paired swords for them and this right here is going to be a wise samurai for the hojo clan um <clears throat> that kind of matches uh and i have i already have a i'm sorry this is this is the paired swords is going to be the devoted samurai the y samurai is going to be the one i've already had painted and um <clears throat> my samurai hero for the hojo is obviously going to be uh one of these guys with the capes more than likely um where's the other guy with the cape armor i don't know why i can't find it <laughs> oh here right here this guy right here um uh, I might even make this the Hojo Clan's um, paired swords samurai hero. It all depends on what I want to do with it. I mean, I really, I, I can do anything, but I definitely will make a choice. I think these two right here for sure um, are going to be part of the Devoted and Wise Samurai. And I'll probably end up using one of these other guys as the samurai hero. I know this is for the Hojo Clan here and the Hojo Clan here. These two guys, fellas, right here. Samurai hero and a devoted samurai, which leaves these three here for the third warband, the Iwagama, which is probably going to be these guys right here, no matter what. Um, <clears throat> and then I also have two for the blue, two for the hojo, an option for an archer samurai, uh, which is an upgrade of two points, and uh, Iwagama. Yusinji and Hojo. So there we go. I just decided it right there, right in front, right in front of you guys. Um, it's pretty cool. They look pretty neat. Um, I like the way I set them out. I put them in very, in, in all different kinds of poses. You know, one standing at ready over here, another one with his sword drawn and about to draw his dagger. I got a guy here with the paired swords, and he's got the, the, uh, the armor on the arms. Uh, the shoulder pad armor, or well, the uh, forearm har armor, scale armor, that sort of thing. Uh, I got a bowman with some dantlers and, you know, just some really cool stuff. Um, I really do like the looks of the small, of the uh, Test of Honor um, models itself. Uh, they're War Games Factory. Um, they're they're de decent models, and they'll paint up well. So that's it. Thank you guys. I appreciate you sticking along with me for this video. Uh, <clears throat> if you haven't subscribed, please do. Please tell a friend. Spread the word. I'd really appreciate it. Also, leave me some comments. Tell me what you think, the way I uh, separated them out, or even if you have any ideas on what you would do as far as who gets what. Uh, all, all input is welcome. Please like this video. And last but not least, from me to you, ta-ta! And we'll see you in the next video.